Hi, my name is Oliver Stark, best known from 911, and this is what is in my TVQ. So, the thing that I cannot get enough of at the moment is the bear on Hulu. Um, I just think it is so watchable and, and it's gritty and it's raw. And uh, Jeremy Allen White, who, who leads the show, is just so fantastic in it. And, and, you know, you really feel like you're in the kitchen with them, which, you know, at certain points can be um, really stressful. But it's, a, it's the kind of stress and, and anxiety inducing that I, I really enjoy. Um, so, yeah, I just think everybody in it is fantastic. I think it's fantastically written, that the food looks amazing. Um, I, I, I can't get enough of it. I have two episodes left and I'm almost reluctant to watch them because I don't want to finish it. Uh, I think the kind of intensity of the show is, is the thing that when I, I when I tell people about it is is the thing that's on the tip of my tongue first and foremost. Um, you know, it's just, it's non-stop. And I think that really captures uh, what I would assume working in a kind of high pressure kitchen would feel like, um, which is what he's trying to turn the sandwich shop into. So, so yeah, I think the intensity of the show is, is one of the things that really grips me. So the second show is one that I'm sure most of us are tuning into, which is, of course, uh, House of Dragon. Um, I was such a huge Game of Thrones fan um, from when it first started. And, and, you know, now that they have the House of Dragon, the, the main thing that I think sells it for me is within like 10 or 15 minutes of watching the, the first episode, I felt like I was watching the old school Game of Thrones. I just think it perfectly has captured that world and, and continued the mythology of all of it. Um, I, I love the kind of grayness of all the characters. Nobody is totally good in it and nobody is totally bad. You kind of understand all of where they're coming from. Um, you know, yes, they are all kind of vying for power, but then there's also family dynamics at play and you know, you find yourself rooting for, for the quote unquote bad guy in it and, and, and then not vote, uh, rooting for him. So yeah, it just, I think it is constantly making you question your own decisions and, and, and morals and standpoints on it. Um, I just, I think it's so clever in the way that it does it. I don't know if it's as such influenced my opinion on Game of Thrones, but it is nice to kind of catch little things that, um, you know, were referenced in Game of Thrones or, or this reference to something coming up in the future. It's it's nice those tie-ins and, and to make it feel like it's part of a bigger universe. Um, if anything, it just makes me appreciate the whole universe uh, more. The third show that uh, I finished a little while ago and I was actually quite sad to finish it is uh, Our Flag Means Death, which was a show on HBO uh, about pirates. I just thought it was so lovely. It, it really makes you laugh, but then it's also heartwarming and, and and you know moves you and you, you fall in love with all of the characters even though they're you know these pirates that have been cobbled together and uh, you know with a not really great captain and and but it, it's just really as i say heartwarming and, and i enjoyed it really from start to finish so actually to be honest with you one of the reasons i started watching it is um there are a couple of actors in it that, that are, become friends with over the years. One of them actually was in an episode of 911 with me. And so I wanted to check out their work. And I, I didn't really know too much about the show when I began it. I hadn't seen any trailer or any preview or anything like that. I just sat down and watched it. And by the end of the first episode, I was, you know, already my hand was moving to the remote to, to queue up episode two and, and continue my journey with it. And that's what is in my queue.